Welcome to Campus Life Night Live. Tonight, you're gonna to learn about all the different involvement opportunities here at Grand Valley. Keep watching for a chance to win tons of free stuff and cool prizes. Getting involved in a student organization is the perfect way to discover new passions, meet new people, and even prepare for your post-college career. We know that this semester is a bit different than semesters in the past. Though many organizations are meeting virtually or in person with added safety precautions, there are still plenty of ways you can get involved and make new friends. Visit Lakerlink to read more about all the student organizations at Grand Valley. And you can check out our involvement flipgrid to watch videos created by student org leaders and learn more about how to get involved. If you'd like some one-on-one -on -one guidance to help you find the right student org, set up a virtual consultation appointment with one of our involvement ambassadors on the Student Life website. There are so many things to get involved with, and I really love that. I think that any student who comes here, the opportunities are there. You just have to step into it. I am currently involved in You Beautiful Black Woman, and then I'm involved in Black Student Union and Alpha Kappa Psi Co-Ed Business Fraternity. I'm involved with uh, GBSU Beekeepers, that's a beekeeping club on campus. Yeah, so the biggest thing I do to give back now is volunteering. I joined the synchronized skating team here my freshman year. I am part of Laker Familio. It's a club that helps Latino students. So I'm involved in Student Senate, Laker Traditions, Alternative Breaks, Transitions, New Student Orientation Program. Well, I chose to transfer to Grand Valley because at the previous college I was attending, they didn't have a lot of student involvement. And that was something I was really looking for in a college. So I toured Grand Valley and I could tell there was a bunch of stuff to do for the students. and. And then I went to a football game and I was just like, yeah, like I can tell these students are proud to be Lakers. And that was, I wanted to be a part of that. I actually really love Campus Life Night because of the excitement that people have when they see, oh, beekeeping club or, you know, any other cool club on campus. It's really inspiring to get people involved. If you're interested in stuff like this is the place to learn about it. Club sports, we have all of the different sports that you can join. And there's just so much, so many opportunities. So Habitat for Humanity is an organization in Grand Rapids. They build homes for people who cannot afford homes. And I do a lot of volunteer work with them, so I get to meet the families. It makes me feel more than just happy. It feels like I'm actually being productive in society. After a long day of studying and classes and everything, my friends and I, we usually wander downtown. And so there are restaurants, there's Rosa Parks Circle, where there's always some event going on. You got beautiful Lake Michigan 11 miles away and the sunsets there are absolutely perfect. What I like about being involved on campus is being able to meet different people. Um, it's all about networking and who you know. That ability for students to get involved in something that they never would have expected to before they came to college is really amazing. So there's over 400 different opportunities for students to get involved on campus. All of this stuff I've been able to like learn by being involved in these student orgs and by using these resources, I now get to like give these tips and tricks to new students. This university offers so many opportunities and resources that the more you take advantage of those, the more you're going to build that community. Just get as involved as you can and you will find that community that you are looking for. Thanks for watching Campus Life Night Live. <laughs> Tonight we will be giving away tons of free stuff. You can enter each giveaway multiple times to increase your chances of winning. Log on to our involvement Flipgrid tonight by midnight for a chance to win a $50 liquor store gift card. We're giving away four. The involvement Flipgrid contains informative videos from student organization leaders, and you might just find the student org that's right for you. Visit the Involvement Flipgrid by midnight tonight for a chance to win one of four $50 Lakers store gift cards. Keep watching for even more opportunities to win cool prizes. Now, we're going to learn a little bit more about what it's like to be part of a student org. Some student orgs can help you make connections within your major and prepare you for your post-college career. Consider joining a professional or academic org that aligns with your major career path. All right, I'm joined this evening by Corbin Amaya, president of Laker Racing Formula, SAE. Corbin, I'm so glad to have you on today. How are you? I'm doing well, Trey. How are you? 
I'm great, thank you so much, thank you. So tell me about yourself, who who are you Corbin and, and what are you here for today? What is Laker Race? So uh, uh, as you said, I'm the president of the team. We're in the initial designing phase of the vehicle figuring out like the engineering aspects of it. Um, and then once we get through all the design phases, we build the parts ourselves, outsource them using money that we're given from sponsors or companies will just make them for us for free as their form of sponsorship. And then once all that comes together, we have a fully functioning uh, race car. And then eventually in May, we go and race it at uh, Michigan International Speedway. Oh so. my goodness, that is so <laughs> exciting, that is, that's crazy, wow, that's great. And so Tom, you mentioned engineering and math, and you know, it sounds like it, it sounds like a lot of science involved in addition to like mechanics. Do I have to be like a major or be in that college to be in your organization? No, you do not. Uh, I feel that's one of the most common misconceptions because we are an organization within the School of Engineering. However, we really just, enjoy having anyone on the team and uh, you know everybody's super nice and they all are willing to teach anybody who's willing to learn it's open to anybody who really just likes cars or just wants to check it out and see you know what it's like to build a mini race car for sure yeah. and you know one thing gvsu encourages is you know preparing lakers for the work platform i mean to go from a master student you know attempt to get there you know to get into the accounting world to an organization like this called laker racing as president how do you feel and for your members, do you feel as though this org helps shape your career and in what ways? I do. Um, I feel like this is really helping shape my leadership ability. I want to go into public accounting and it's all about handling clients and building relationships with people. And so I think having a team of 45, you know, under me and building relationships with them and figuring out how to best suit their needs and get us through this is really helping me learn. Yeah, Corbin, let me tell you, just talking to you, it just shows me that how great of a leader you truly are and that you've made so many countless connections. So tell me, what is like your favorite moment that you had in this org or something that's like enriched you? How do you, you know, feel as though this has helped shape you in, in your character? Honestly, the meeting. I would just say getting together with, you know, the team and just going into when we could go into the vehicle bay, you know, those were those are my favorite times and I really do miss those. I know a lot of the team who's been with me these years miss them as well. So that sounds so much <laughs> fun. Oh my goodness. So, you know, I definitely think this is so cool and it's something that I really encourage, you know, students and I'm sure you do the same, want students to get oh, yeah. involved with. So tell me, how can I get involved with your organization and where can I find you? Uh, we have an Instagram page called GVSU Laker Racing. It's all one word. Um, we have a Facebook page as well. And then we have our email linked on there. So we either have students reach out via email or a lot of times they just request to join from Laker Link. And so that's kind of the, the process of like onboarding, we like to call it. It's just you reach out either via email, Laker Link, uh, we bring you in, get you acquainted, and you kind of figure out where you want to be. And we let people change at any time. So, you know, it's not like once you pick your you're stuck on the electrical team or something like that. So it's a pretty easy process and we found that it works pretty well. Great, great, yeah. Make sure to hit them up on Instagram. I think, I definitely know I want more information, so I'm gonna check you all out. And be sure to check them out on Lakerlink as well. Check out what their, what their org is about for yourself. You know, I, Corbin, you are amazing. Drive safe out there and of course have fun <laughs> and keep, keep bringing students on your team and make those connections. Thank you so, so much, Corbin. It's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Trey. It's been a pleasure Thank to you. be here. For those just joining us, you're watching Campus Life Night Live, your chance to learn everything you need to know about getting involved in student life. Tonight, we're highlighting just a few of the many involvement opportunities here at GV. Check out our brand new involvement Flipgrid to view videos created by student org leaders. Hear more about each organization and learn how to get involved. Hi there, I'm Josh, and I'm the Vice President and Co-Founder of the GVSU Cinematography Club. The Cinematography Club is all about kind of creating an open learning environment for people of all skill levels, of all majors, of all interests, who are just curious about learning more about cinematography and production and storytelling in general. Like I said, we're open to all skill levels, all majors, any year. We try to make it so that, you know, wherever you are in your progression, you will be comfortable coming and learning. We bring in speakers, we do live demonstrations. This semester, we're looking to do some kind of live in-person meetups following, of course, all COVID safety precautions, where you could have a chance to get hands-on with equipment, kind of see uh, how you might light a situation so that you can take that to your own work and learn from it.
So if you're interested in learning more or seeing when our meetings are going to be, visit www.cinematographyclub.com or check us out on Facebook at GVSU Cinematography Club. Thanks. Hi Lakers, my name is Gabby Pingaro. I currently serve as the president for GVSU Chemistry Club on campus and we wanted to come to this virtual campus life night opportunity to tell you a little bit more about our student organization. So the best way for me to describe GVSU Chem Club is a great merger between academic and social skills. So Academically, we have study nights for finals to help you guys get ready. We have faculty that we often do events with that are perfect to connect with for networking, um, opportunities, all that jazz. While socially, we do social events. So we do game nights. Um, we have an event coming up February 15th um, where we're gonna volunteer and just have game nights. And you have this perfect merger between the two. So we are academically based, but also have social, social aspect as well. Um, if you would like more information on these events and our February 15th event, um, please add us on our Laker link. Um, please follow us on Insta and Facebook, and we hope to see you soon. Anchor up. Hello, my name is India Taylor, and I'm the current president of the Pre-Veterinary Club, here to tell you a little bit about the club itself. The Pre-Vet Club at GVSU is an academic organization that meets weekly with unique speakers from all aspects of the field. During a typical semester, we also arrange several animal-related volunteer experiences and fundraisers for members to participate in on a relatively weekly basis. The club has connections throughout West Michigan, and we even partner with the American Pre-Veterinary Medical Association to provide regional and national opportunities for diversifying vet school applications during your time in undergrad. It is our goal to connect and assist all undergraduate students seeking a career in vet med through leadership skill building, friendly professional experiences, guidance and networking, fun and informative field experiences, and ultimately promoting success in the veterinary pathway. Feel free to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GVSU Prevet Club, join our private Facebook group, GVSU Prevet Club, and check out our Laker link. But most importantly, reach out to our club email, gvsuprevetclub at gmail.com to get involved. Thank you for your interest and thanks for listening. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Kevin Fino. I'm the president and co-founder of the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers chapter at Grand Valley State University. Hi, and I'm Jamie. I'm the co-founder and vice president of the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers at Grand Valley. The Society of Hispanic Professionals and Engineers is the largest network and organization for Hispanic students and professionals in STEM fields. So you might be asking yourself, why shit? Well, I've found for me that having a support system where I can go and ask students, you know, what's going on in classes for help and stuff like that has been a perfect opportunity. Um, we also have regional and national conferences of which I've attended a national conference. Um, and I found that it was great for networking, building professional relationships, and kind of seeing what the job market is like before I jump into it. At, given the fact that we're a new student organization, we're always looking for more members. So if you're a Hispanic student and one of the STEM majors and are looking for a community, or just an ally willing to join, we're always welcoming more people. Yeah, and we are holding a professional development event very soon with a lot of industry companies that will come in, speak to us, and it's a great opportunity to reach out. At our email, shipgvsu at gmail.com. Hey, what's up? And welcome to Advertising Club. Now, I'm not sure why you clicked on our video in the first place, but you're in the right place, so trust me. The cool thing about Ad Club is that you don't have to be majoring in advertising. We welcome any students that are interested in the general field. Here in Ad Club, we host a variety of speakers from all around the world to get a taste of the real industry. Joining the Ad Club also means you have the opportunity to network with real ad industry professionals into a real ad firm. Being a member is super dope because you get tons of benefits, including access to all of our events, including agency tours, professional workshops, internship opportunities, networking events, and a ton more. And if that isn't a good enough reason to join, then like, I don't know what is. You can visit our website at gvsuadclub.com or follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Or you could just follow us on Instagram because we post funny ads every Friday. So go ahead and click that follow button and we'll let you know what our next meeting is going to be about. Peace out. Hi, my name is Sam Bowman and I am the president of the Pre-Pharmacy Association. We are a group focused on broadening the knowledge of those interested in the study of pharmacy. 
we plan on doing this by having speakers from all different types of the pharmacy life come in and speak to us. Uh, we talk to you about the ins and outs of applying to pharmacy school and working in a pharmacy. Uh, this club personally has opened my eyes to a lot. I didn't know there were so many different paths I could go down with pharmacy. I kind of just thought the basic, you know, retail, Walgreens type life, but there's way more than that. Um, I feel a lot more prepared heading into pharmacy school as well. Um, we've talked a lot about um, applying and interviews and letters of recommendation, just basically everything and anything you need. Um, anyone who is interested in pharmacy at all, they are allowed to join. We're not very restrictive in that form. If you have any other questions, you can contact me. At the phone number is on the screen or the email. You can also contact our coordinator, Alexis, at the email above as well. Um, I'd say if this is something you'd be interested in, um, please join our Laker link. Um, that is where we post all of our updates and meeting info. Other than that, our first meeting is going to be February 2nd at 9 p.m. via Zoom. We will send that link out through our Laker League, and I hope to see you guys there. Bye. Hello, and welcome to the Pre-Medical Club. I'm Natalie Woodland, the current volunteer and event coordinator, and I'm here to share a little bit more about what we do. So we are a student organization that is geared for those who want a career in the medical field and how we can all reach our goals together. So we bring in physician panels, med school admissions advisors, current medical students, Grand Valley alumni who have had success in their fields, researchers, and many other speakers who share their knowledge about becoming a doctor. We also have meetings for personal statement and MCAT info. We do med school tours and we organize volunteer opportunities once COVID is over, of course. We do hope you'll consider joining our club and to take advantage of these great resources. We meet every other Tuesday at 8 p.m and you should add us on Laker link so you can get more information and stay connected. Have a great semester, guys. If you're looking for a faith-based community to get involved in, consider joining one of the many interfaith, spiritual, or religious organizations on campus. My name is Erica Lindberg. I am the president of Campus Ministry here at Grand Valley. Uh, campus Ministry is just a group of college students that gather weekly to just learn more about Jesus. Whether you've been a Christian most of your life or you're just kind of checking it out, you're welcome here. This semester, we will meet weekly on Zoom for live teachings with an opportunity afterwards to meet into smaller groups for more discussions and just dive deeper about what we listen to. Hopefully, if restrictions allow, we will be able to have more events and more programming for you guys to come meet new friends and faces and just hang out with us more. But ultimately, at the root of it all, we just want you to have community. That's our main goal, uh, to meet new people and to feel like you have people around you that you can do the semester with, but also just do life and have that community. I knew that I would be a part of campus ministry from the second I decided I was going to Grand Valley. Um, I knew that the community here was just like no other and I ended up kind of getting my own group of friends right off the bat my first semester of freshman year who are now still walking through life with me as seniors, which is really cool. Um, it also just furthered my faith far beyond what I thought was possible, which has been really cool um, just in terms of the teachings and just the growth and experience I've had to go through with these people. It's just been amazing the past four years. So we want you to have a community. We want you to be involved. Uh, no matter your background or where you're coming from, you're welcome here and we would love to have you. Our next guest is a member of Hillel, a Jewish organization on campus. Please welcome Nolan Wagner. Thank you for having me. Nolan, can you tell us a little bit about Hillel? What is it and what do your meetings look like? Yeah, so Hillel is a Jewish-based organization here on campus where um, basically all People who are of Jewish descent or identify as Jewish or even people who are not Jewish but just want to learn more about our culture and religion can come together as an organization and do certain events and we usually just come together, eat some food, hang out and do some activities. That sounds really nice. Now what is your favorite thing about being involved in Halal? For me the information. Um, I, I, grew, I didn't grow up super involved in um, my family's culture so I, I would say the learning aspect of what goes on in day-to-day -day living what happens every week what are the important holidays and stuff like that that's what i would i would say is most important um to me but the things like the activities that bring us together as a group of friends it transcends that i mean it, it's bigger than just a culture it, it 
goes into a learning process and coming together as a group of people. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Now, in general, why do you think Hillel is important to the Grand Valley community? It adds diversity to the student body. Um, there are a lot of people who just don't know who Jewish people are, and it's important for other organizations and people of different cultures to know about everyone. It's a great learning curve for everyone, and it's important to add that diversity here on campus. So true. It sounds like this club has really impacted you. And do you have a favorite memory from your time in Hillel so far? I would say my favorite time would probably be the first meeting. Um, as I said earlier in the interview, I didn't have that much knowledge of um, what Hillel was and um, my own culture. So I went in there thinking like, oh, I've never met like another Jewish person. I, I don't know what it's about. And I, it was really eye opening as someone who um, was almost like an outsider. So it, it was amazing. Sounds like it. You know, since the pandemic, eboard members have had to find new and creative ways to communicate with their club and reach out to people. Now, what does Hillel look like with the COVID restrictions in place? With anything with COVID right now, it's going to be quite different. I mean, we went from doing complete in-person events, traveling places, going to many different fun places, and to now we're just mainly doing virtual or pickup style events. So usually we'll just hop on a Zoom. But beforehand, we will, we can do like an arts and crafts type of thing. We can do a food pickup. And so usually we'll take one person's house on the e-board, the executive board, and um, people from the organization can go to the house, pick it up, have a known contact, oh, wow. um, handoff. So we're not risking ourselves or risking them in any sort of way. And then take it back to our house in about half an hour, then we'll start a, a Zoom and we can talk and eat and hang out as a group of friends and do some traditions that we did in person. So. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Sounds like there's a lot to do in Halal. So if a student is interested in joining, what can they do to get involved? They can go to Instagram, look us up at Halal GVSU, Facebook, um, stuff like that. And you can even reach out to me. I'm more than happy to give out my information, but you, you can really reach out to anyone and um, in the Student Life Office and get a hold of us. Great. Well, hopefully this has encouraged more people to get involved and learn a little bit more about their culture. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Nolan. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, Nolan. Now I'm going to share a bit about my own involvement experience, and you'll get to see how the community I found has completely changed my college experience for the better. Here's my story. Music has been a passion of mine since before I can even remember. My granddad, before he passed, he was always crazy about me singing and just being myself. Music is not just my thank you for him, it's also like a highlight for all of my life. My name is Trace Nodgrass. I am currently involved in GVSU's Euphoria Acapella group. I am a sophomore and I am studying Allied Health Sciences with an emphasis in Pre-Physician Assistant Studies. When I first came to Grand Valley, I didn't really know what I wanted to get involved in, but I really wanted to take a more of a, a competitive approach to music. And acapella was like this branch of music I had never dived into. It means it's your voice is the instrument. I knew I wanted to do it, but I was really scared and I didn't know like how to audition. So I first I didn't do my freshman year and then this year I heard so many great things and I saw them perform once and I just knew I had to do it. I did my audition and they accepted me and I got involved with Euphoria. Euphoria is a collaborative group of diverse artists who come together and make music that is portrayed through different styles that focuses on the instrumental aspect of your own voice. Anybody who wants us to go to your high school, we are Coming into Euphoria Monday, really Thursday. opened my eyes to how many different students are just here on this campus. We're all different, and we were all accepting to our differences. I'll definitely say that by me getting involved, I've not only seen an increase in my GPA, I've seen an increase in my overall mental health and physical health, and bringing in something that's not academic and bringing in something that doesn't have anything to do with my major has allowed me to become more of a holistic individual. It's allowed me to come in with this mentality of, I'm gonna bring my idea here today, and they're gonna bring their ideas in here today, and we're gonna build something amazing.
That moment when we perform and we come off stage and we realize, wow, we just killed that. Like that was amazing. That feeling of all that hard work meaning something in the end, we did that. Like that was our thing. We just marked that stage. Outside of just Euphoria rehearsals, I've definitely become way closer to my fellow Euphorians. You know, we, we are close inside and outside of rehearsal. For us, rehearsal is just a name, it's just a title, but in reality, just us being here on this campus and being friends and family with each other, it doesn't have to be rehearsal for that to happen. Get involved, <laughs> sing out, become more. Time for another giveaway! <laughs> Visit at GBSU Student Life on Instagram and share a post on your story. Make sure your account is public so we can see that you've shared. In the next 15 minutes, we will randomly select 10 winners to receive a free t-shirt. Remember, you can post multiple times to increase your chances of winning. We'll post the winner on our Instagram story. For those of you who are athletes, check out all the club sports offered at GV. There's basketball, lacrosse, bowling, sailing, rowing, and so many more. Sports lovers, listen up. This is your time, the time we've been waiting for. I would love to give a great, big, warm, biggest welcome to Christian Gage, Vice President of Cross Country and Track and Field Club. Hello, Christian, what's up? I'm good, Trey, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm great, I am great. Christian, it is, we're so glad to have you here with us. Tell me about yourself. I guess I can start with running. I started running my freshman year of high school and I like, I just fell in love with it. And when I got to college, I was like, I still want to do this. Um, I'm yeah. not good enough to be on the, on the actual <laughs> team. So I was like, why not just join the club? And it was the best decision of my life. 
I actually live with people now that I met last year in the club and it's just, awesome. yeah, it's such an awesome experience. Yeah, Christian, one thing I always think about, you know, in day to day life is where one door closes, another one opens. So it really Absolutely. sounds like you, you yeah. found where you belong on campus. That's so good. Yes. And so yeah. I want to ask you, you know, in, for your club and when are your meetings and how does that look in terms of a schedule? Usually everybody just meets at six and then Kayla, our resident, would say like announcements, like say if there's anything coming up or anything like that. And then people would just break off into their groups and then go run. And that's pretty much what we would do. And Obviously, we would all be masked up and stuff like that. That's so mm -hmm. good. That's so good. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, you have this word club, right? We think of clubs and we don't really think of like competition or anything. So I ask you, does this club compete? And if so, what do your competitions normally look like? This year, obviously, we haven't had anything yet. But last year, we in the in the fall, we would travel to cross country courses and then we would go there. We would run there against other club teams. And then in the winter, we would go to the, the Kelly and the varsity team would would ha be hosting meets there. And so we'd be the only club team there. So it was really cool getting to see like all these like collegiate athletes like run and <laughs> they're all super fast. And that is awesome. Yeah. Definitely. And so Christian, tell me, you know, you've talked about it along the way about how, you know, COVID-19 has impacted your club. Tell me, how do you think or what do you expect will happen um, in the, you know, this semester and, um, and onward for that matter and how will your club look different this semester so I mean we're, we're not gonna have an indoor season but we're we're really like hoping to have some sort of an outdoor season or at least like just one meet outdoors like nationals absolutely. or something like that absolutely yeah and mm -hmm. I would would really you know hope that students will still be able to see this as a great opportunity to still meet more people learn more about your club and still get the opportunity to get out there and start running because I know when I'm on my way to class I I love being able to see you guys run by and I'm like man I I gotta get on that. I gotta, gotta yeah. get back to that cardio. <laughs> that is so good. What is your favorite or like the best thing about being involved on campus and the best thing about being a part of your organization? I would say just getting to be with the people that I that are in the club, getting to see them and just like talking about just our day. And then I'm also getting to exercise, I'm getting to run. And so like, it's just like exactly. a double whammy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We have to stay healthy, especially with a year like this. We have to continue to stay healthy, stay vigilant in that aspect. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely agree. Where can we find you? How can we join your organization, Christian? Yes, um, so our Instagram is gv.xc.tfclub. And then our Facebook page is GVSU Cross Country and Track Club. Awesome. And we will peep, and we'll like, we'll post updates about when practices start like what times we'll be practicing and all that stuff. Great, great. Christian, thank you so much. Yeah, definitely check out their social media handles. Make sure to check them out on Lakerlink, learn more about their club, find their members, reach out. And if you're like me and you're a student walking around campus, if you have any traditional classes, make sure to wave at them and get more information on their way because I'm sure they would love to have you. I'm sure that's Absolutely. right, right, Christian? Yeah, Absolutely. awesome, awesome. Christian, it's been awesome. Thank you so, so much for joining us today and keep running. <laughs> thank you, Trey. <laughs> thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Maddie and my name is Hannah and we're the trustees for the Grand Valley Rowing Team and today we're going to be telling you about our program. So this is our mission statement. Um, our goal is to create student athletes to be competitive on the water and succeed in the classroom as well. So who is the Laker Navy? We were the first four at Grand Valley in 1964 and we do have a club status. However, we also are supported to compete at the varsity level as well. And our team is 80% walk-ons. We have a no cut policy. So even if you have no experience, you're welcome to come out and give it a try. So these are some of the people that we race. Um, our team is very competitive. You'll see some big names on here. Um, and we also do a lot of traveling in a normal season um, all around the country and internationally as well. So our current team standing, we have over 200 combined medals, 12 national championship titles for Grand Valley, five world records, and three American records. So we're a super competitive team among even D1 and D2 colleges. So these are just some of the coronavirus precautions. Um, obviously masks will be required and we practice social distancing as well, um, just disinfecting equipment, um, and then just limited practice times. And we also check the self-assessments upon practice. So for more information and to get involved with Grand Valley Rowing, you can email recruiting at grandvalleyrowing.com.
Our next guest is the Assistant Director of Student Organizations in the Office of Student Life. Say hello to Eric Stevens. Hi, Eric. Hey, Leah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So can you tell us a little bit about what your job entails and what you do with student organizations? Yeah, absolutely. So like you said, I'm Assistant Director of Student Organizations in the Office of Student Life. Um, it's my job to help support student orgs in any way that I can. Um, so I work with the funding process with our student organizations and help students navigate the ins and outs of what you can request money for. Um, I help support student orgs through their programming if they have questions. I work with advisors. Um, student orgs, you know, come across all sorts of different problems and issues and need help navigating them. So I'm the official resource that student orgs come to for that. Yeah, perfect. So if a student wants to start their own student organization, if they have something else they're passionate about that there isn't already an org for, how do they go about doing that? What are the first steps they need to take? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and it is the first step will be to check and make sure that that org doesn't already exist. So make sure you head to Laker Link and look and see if there isn't a student organization already that meets that need. If not, it's a really simple process. You need four students to make up your executive officer team. You need a faculty or staff member to be an advisor for the org and a constitution. You gather all of those things up. Um, you submit your request on Lakerlink um, and then it's reviewed by the student organization review board. And if you're approved, then you're officially an organization on campus. Uh, the process is super easy and outlined on the gvsu.edu backslash SOS website. You can check it out there for step-by-step -step instructions on how to start a new student organization. Cool. I know that this semester is pretty different from past semesters in terms of COVID-related precautions and restrictions. So how has your job changed this semester and how has student life changed? Yeah, great question. I've had to do a lot more individual one-on-one -on -one meetings with students than I have in the past. In the past, student orgs have been a lot more independent, have come up with the stuff they want to do, and um, haven't been as constrained with a lot of the rules and regulations. So I've been meeting a lot. I've done two or three dozen meetings over the last um, probably three months, four months with student org leadership, um, just trying to help them navigate the challenging situation of COVID, uh, helping them you know, plan events in person and do it safely. Um, and so there's a lot to know and a lot to learn about COVID. And, and so I've been helping students navigate through that. So lastly, are there any final things you'd like to add about the importance of getting involved or the importance of joining a student organization? Um, obviously, the reason we're at Grand Valley is for academics. You're here to get that degree. You're here to get that dream job. Um, but I ultimately look at the whole Grand Valley experience as a coin and half of that coin, the head side is getting your degree and the tail side is, is campus engagement and campus involvement. Um, it's really how you help supplement your career. Um, when you fill out your resume and you're looking for like, how do I plug in, you know, to show that I am qualified for the job, it's through engagement. It's through volunteer mm -hmm. opportunities. It's through, you know, being in student organization leadership. Um, it's through all th things like that, these tangible experiences that you have. So it's really essential that um, you get involved, not just again for fun, that's obviously super important. You want to have space to de-stress, you want to find friends, uh, but really as big picture, it's a big deal for, for being the best Laker, the best candidate you can be in your future career. Yeah, it's definitely all intertwined like that. It's all connected. You can learn lessons about yourself and about your future and about your career all from your student organization. Yeah. If you if you ask anyone who graduated college, um, what do they remember about college? I would bet, you know, $100 that nine times out of 10, someone is going to say a student org experience or attending a mm -hmm. football game or a volunteer experience. It's not necessarily that time sitting in the classroom that we all look back fondly on. Obviously, it's super important. And it's a big part of why we're here, uh, but it, it's a huge, you know, getting involved and being connected is a huge part of making the experience here at Grand Valley. Well, Eric, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. You're watching Campus Life Night Live. Stay tuned for more giveaways and important info about involvement opportunities. For a full list of all student organizations offered at Grand Valley, visit Lakerlink. LakerLink will also help you get in contact with student org eboard members, so head there now to email student orgs and take the next steps towards getting involved. Do you like performing? If you were born for the spotlight, you're in luck. Performing arts organizations at GV include a cappella groups, dance teams, theater troops, comedy orgs, and more. And so I want to give a very big warm, warm, warm welcome to Caitlin Richardson, president of STAGE. Hi, Caitlin, how are you? Good, how are you? 
I'm so, so good. Thank you so much for asking. Tell us, what is Stage? And, you know, what does Stage do? Okay, so um, Stage is a completely student-run theater organization. Um, nobody needs to be a theater major or have any theater background to join Stage. We essentially uh, produce our own shows, we write our own shows, we have a whole writer's guild where we write um, scripts and stuff like that. Um, we direct our own shows, we tech our own shows, and we act in our own shows. So there's really like a well-rounded experience um, for theater people in stage, and it's really cool. And so how many times a year do you have performances? What does a normal schedule look like? Tell us about what that, yeah. what that process is like. So a normal schedule for stage when we're not, you know, in a pandemic um, <laughs> is we try to do three to four shows a year, but we do a small show, which we typically call Yikes, and then we might add a title after it. Um, so like we would do Yikes, and then we could do Yikes 2, Electric Boogaloo, something silly like that. Then we do this thing called Soaps, which is student one act plays. So they're a little bit longer, whereas Yikes is a show compiled of several sketches. Then we do another Yikes in the uh, winter semester, followed by a full length play. Right. Typically like 50 to 150 pages. Um, it's definitely our big show. So yeah, that's what we do. Absolutely, and I think you've talked about this a little bit, but I really wanted to push and elaborate a little more on that. But, you know, you talked about COVID-19, how that kind of, you know, put a dent in a lot of our plans. <laughs> how does your organization, how, how are you all adapting to this to this climate and what changes are you making for this year? Yeah, um, so last semester we were actually, uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to do a show. Um, mm -hmm. We did it in the Cook Do It, oh my gosh, Cook Do It Center. <laughs> um, <laughs> which was a big change for us uh, just because we usually perform in Area 51, um, but we did that so we could social distance. Um, and it was just a lot of like virtual auditions, virtual directing, stuff like that. We would meet in person if we could, masks on, social distancing and all that. But yeah, so we try to do a different um, like skill building session every week. We're actually gonna switch to every other week this semester just because okay. Um, it's just a little bit easier with COVID. Awesome. That is great. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That sounds like a lot of fun. How can, you know, I'm, I'm trying to search for your organization. How can I find you and your organization? Where should I go? And what does that process look like? Yeah, so we do have a Linker, uh, Linkerlink page. Um, you can find us on there. It's just uh, all caps, stage, no periods, just S-T-A-G-E. Um, we have a Twitter, which is, I think, GV Stage. We have a Facebook, which is GV Stage or Stage. Um, and yeah, we have an Insta, but we don't tend to use that a lot. Facebook, Twitter are the main things we interact with, but we do try to get back to everybody on Lakerlink. So I encourage anybody looking to join a club, looking to join stage, use Lakerlink. That's how we get out our um, meeting times and stuff like that. But we also have a weekly email that we send out. It's uh, just stage at mail.gbsu.edu um, that we can use, so yeah. Absolutely. Caitlin, from one thespian to another, I tell you, thank you so much for talking with us today. And yeah, of I really encourage everyone to go check out their performances. I know I will, so make sure, you know, let us know when you guys are performing and please check them out on Lakerlink and join them. Caitlin, thank you so, so, so much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name's Hannah and I'm the club president of In the Margins, a poetry and creative writing club for marginalized identities. We meet Monday nights at 9 p.m. via Zoom. You can find our Zoom information at our Facebook page, GBSU In the Margins Poetry Club. Um, here's some pictures of us uh, before uh, we went back in the times when we could get together in person. Uh, but we're really excited to meet you via Zoom as well. Um, we try to make this club as entertaining as possible via Zoom and um, in ways that maybe don't give you Zoom fatigue. So if you're a little hesitant on that, don't be. We're making it as cool as we can. Um, what will you be doing during club? Lots of writing. We try and make sure to have different writing prompts each week that will fit any genre that you're interested in. Um, so this could be poetry, this could be fiction, this could be creative nonfiction, uh, but usually our prompts fit whatever genre you want. Um, they're more general prompts that are just to spark inspiration. Um, we also try and create some community building. Um, this is a club for marginalized identities, which means that everyone is welcome, uh, but we also try and create a safe space for all identities and backgrounds. Um, 
Also biannually, we create a literary magazine um, uh, for our whole club, which means that if you're in the club and you want to be published, we will publish you in our zine. And you also, if you want to get design experience, all of these zine covers and all of the contents of our zines are designed by students. So if you want to learn more and you want to get to know us, come see us on Monday nights. We'll see you then. Good afternoon, Laker Nation. My name is Sean Miller. And my name is Sydney Zuccaro. And we are the president and vice president of the Laker Marching Band Council, a group of students from the Laker Marching Band who strive to assist the band throughout the year. We are here to share a bit of information about the Laker Marching Band and how to get involved. We like to think of the LMB as a family because we all come together to make music, memories, and friends for a lifetime. So we are here today to let you know that auditions are running through this winter semester and through the summer. We are open to all students, even if you haven't marched since high school. We are really excited for this upcoming season and we hope to see some new faces. We encourage anyone interested to reach out to us or our director, Dr. John Martin. And if you have any more questions, feel free to visit the Laker Marching Man website for more details. You can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as well. Other than that, we hope to see you in person this fall. Anchor up. If you'd like to join a student organization but you're not sure where to start, you can meet with an involvement ambassador for some one-on-one -on -one guidance. We have one of our involvement ambassadors here with us today. This is Lexi Codd. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Leah. What does an involvement ambassador consultation look like? How do you help students get involved and find that community? We get matched up depending on what the student is looking for, um, what I'm already involved in, um, if our majors are anything similar. Um, we will get paired up one-on-one -on -one and we'll sit down. I'll look at the student, kind of see the things that they wrote down already on their form. Um, I'll ask them more questions, kind of get to know them since it is peer-to-peer. -peer, we wanna emphasize on the fact that we are connecting with student to student rather than student to faculty or student to staff. Mm -hmm. um, so the biggest thing for our program is the fact that we have been in your shoes before. Mm -hmm. We want to get to know you more as a peer, as a friend, to help you find the perfect match for your community on our campus. Um, and then we really, really teach the students LakerLink. Um, we teach them how to utilize the campus events calendar. We teach them how to utilize the organization search, how you can narrow it down by interest, you can narrow it down by major. Um, and then we really just hone in on what the students' interests are. Um, and then it, going forward, we kind of see if they're interested in certain clubs. And once they choose the ones that best suit them in the meeting, I will then send them either a list or an email giving the contact information for the clubs, the meeting schedules, um, kind of break it down if there's dues or procedures or initiations or anything like that. And we really set the student up for success. Yeah, so what students are able to meet with involvement ambassadors? Is it open to first year students? Is it open to everyone? The involvement ambassador program is open to any student who's looking to get involved. Um, so we're really trying to make sure that the word gets out about the program and the resources are on the website and posted throughout campus. Uh, do you have any success stories you'd like to share or have you seen involvement benefit students in any way? Um, I started out as a transitions leader my sophomore year, which was one of the things that I got involved in. Um, and one of my freshmen who was in my group as a leader approached me because they asked me what I was doing on campus and they found out about the Involvement Ambassador program. Um, so I set up a meeting with her personally. I knew she wanted to go through sorority recruitment. I knew she wanted to go through a lot of different things. Um, so I helped her get signed up and go through the process. Um, and then a few weeks later, I was doing street teams for the Involvement Ambassador program. And I met another girl who was interested in sorority recruitment. So I did the same thing with her. Um, and when I was doing my outreach with the girls that I put through recruitment, I actually got a selfie in response from both of them that they ended up in the same sorority. I was their Involvement Ambassador Aww. and now they're best friends in the same sorority. So they became sisters on campus and the community that they found was someone that I was able to help and I thought it was really touching that they sent me a selfie back and they said, thank you so much for helping me get involved. And I thought it was really, really touching that I was able to help them find each other with me helping them individually, so. Is there anything else you'd like to share about being an involvement ambassador or about setting up a consultation? 
how do, how do students set up a consultation? They can go on the Involvement Ambassador website. If you go and go on the Grand Valley website, Office of Student Life, you can request an involvement consultation and that will take you to the interest form. Um, and then you just type in all the information. There is a blur bar where you can put down notes, your interests. Um, and then, like I said, you will be paired up with one of our involvement ambassadors and we will set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with whatever fits your schedule. Perfect. Well, Lexi, thank you so much for your time and thank you for sharing. Thank you, Leah. Guess what? <laughs> hey, you'll be randomly selected to win a snack-filled cooler bag. To enter for a chance to win, email studentlife at gvsu.edu by 9 p.m. tonight. If you're already in a student org, tell us which one and why you're glad you joined. If you haven't yet joined a student org, let us know which ones interest you. Don't miss out. The first 10 people who email studentlife at gvsu.edu by 9 p.m. tonight win a free cooler bag filled with snacks. Now we're going to hear another fellow Lakers involvement story. Through her student organization, Rachel Serba was able to strengthen her passions and gain important career experience. Here's what she has to say. My name is Rachel Serba. I am the station manager of WCKS The Whale, Grand Valley's only student run radio station, which means I oversee everyone's shows and kind of how this place runs itself. The title of the email is, I just swore on air, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to show that to like lighten the mood of, oh, no. of right now. I had already been previously interested in radio a little bit. My dad and I, we had both liked this like same radio host on this rock station and he was saying something along the lines of like, oh, it would be so cool if you got into radio, like imagine if you did something like that. And the more I thought about it, the more it was really appealing to me to, you know, be in that environment. WCKS The Way, reaching all corners of Laker Nation. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. When I went to the first meeting, I was so nervous because I was just a little baby freshman. But when I got there, it was like everyone was super outgoing and like just as weird and super into it and really creative. So I just decided to stick around. You're listening to the Weather Channel and WCK, it's the whale. Uh, our show is called the Weather Channel because it changes every week. And then right in the middle of our two hour segment, we do like this big weather forecast and we have like background music and we make this big whole ordeal out of it, which is super fun. And I'm Rachel. I'm Kevin. Uh, and we'll be right back. Going into my show is like the coolest thing. It's really invigorating. It's like a tiny adrenaline rush that I get every time. I'm like, okay, we're on air now. And it's just, it's awesome. Like I had the thought freshman year, like, oh, it'd be cool to run this place, but it'll never happen. And then going into my senior year, like applying for that and being like, the, yeah, I want to do this. Like I want to be able to do whatever I want and like make this the best radio station for students to like have that outlet for them. And then eventually having that lead to, you know, a, a job is insane to me. I'm very proud of all of you for having like just the coolest shows and the most creative concepts that I've seen so far over my four years of being involved with the station. So the whale brings students here at Grand Valley a, a different way to get their voice out there. And this is a platform students can use to, you know, talk about almost anything that they want to. It's such a creative outlet that, that they won't get anywhere else. Realizing like this weird little interest of mine in radio is actually just this full blown passion for, for it in general it is so cool. I want to do radio for the rest of my life. And like, I'm definitely like gonna miss this place a lot. Get involved, tune in, become more. It's time to learn more about fraternity and sorority life here at GV. I sat down with a representative from each of the four councils of Greek life. Here's what they have to say. Hello, my name is Andres Garcia. I am the vice president of the Alpha Gamma chapter of Sigma Lambda Beta International Fraternity Incorporated and the vice president of the Multicultural Greek Council. Hi, my name is Maya Sanders. I'm the chapter president of the Lambda Pi chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, as well as the president of the National Panhellenic Council at Grand Valley. Hi Lakers, my name is Eldon Pearson. I'm a brother of Sigma Pi fraternity here on campus and I'm the president of the Inner Fraternity Council here at Grand Valley. Hi, my name is Maddie Stevens. I'm the president of the Panhellenic Council here at Grand Valley, and I'm also a member of Alpha Omicron Pi. Well, it seems like there's really a wide variety of fraternities and sororities to get involved in. So 
What made you first want to join your fraternity or sorority? When I was in high school, I was exposed to a lot of the different organizations. And uh, when I got to college, I wasn't really sure which one I wanted to dedicate myself to. So by seeing the type of work that they did, the type of events that they put, put on, and doing a lot of research, I found that a lot of their core values align with mine and I wanted to be a part of something that was bigger than myself. Me personally, exiting out of high school, Greek life was never something that really interested me. Um, but I did decide to give it a chance. I went to some of our recruitment events at the chapter and it really stuck with me. I was kind of struggling to make friends and find my place in the community here. And I saw um, some of my other friends join Greek life and they fell in love immediately. So I just had to give it a shot. And from there, it's been history and I've just loved it. The reason I joined Sigma Lambda Beta was because I had struggled to find a group on campus that I'd really connect with, a place where I could uh, really em embrace my culture. So when I met with some brothers from Sigma Lambda Beta and some alumni, quickly admired how close they were and how devoted they were to serving their community. Yeah, do you have a favorite part or a favorite memory from your involvement so far? My favorite part about being involved is the amount of different women that I meet and they treat me like family, like they treat me like they've known me for, for years. And that bond comes from the fact that we're both women of our organization and we care about a lot of the same things. So it's always nice to know that there's a little piece of home wherever I go. When I was told that, I kind of just took it for granted and I was like, okay, I'm not really sure if that's going to be true. but. Once you get involved in the community and you uh, spend more time in your chapter, you realize that that really is true. And I know that any like Panhellenic sister I go to, I can talk to them, have a conversation with them and have a deep connection with them. I think in the media specifically, um, being a member of a fraternity has a very specific image of what that's supposed to look like. Um, but here at Grand Valley, not only within my chapter, but within all the different fraternities that we have here, there's such a blend of different personalities, uh, different people, different majors, people with different aspirations and goals in their life. Um, but somehow um, within our community, everyone blends really, really well together. Um, everyone gets along. We really work together on a lot of community projects like philanthropy events, fundraising events with the intention of bettering our Grand Valley community and the community around us as well. One thing that definitely surprised me about Greek life after I joined was how many opportunities there were for uh, professional development, for leadership, uh, for collaboration. I very much enjoyed uh, collaborating with um, other organizations and different councils, and it's definitely made um, myself uh, a, a better communicator and a better leader. Well, it sounds like you've all had a lot of amazing experiences. If you're thinking back to when you were first rushing for your fraternity sorority, is there anything you wish you had known or any advice you wish you could give your younger self? There's so many different organizations out there and uh, it's really important to do your research. You know, don't be afraid to reach out to uh, brothers or sisters, uh, alumni. We were all there once, you know, struggling to uh, find what organization is best for us. I know one of my huge uh, concerns joining Greek life was that it was gonna be a huge time commitment and I was gonna have to juggle academics and uh, along with being involved in Greek life as well. Um, and I found that my involvement in Greek life has really helped me with my academics. Being surrounded by so many people with different majors, you're bound to find someone who's able to help you um, act as a mentor, um, help you tone your study habits, help you um, with different, different um, homework uh, tips and stuff like that. Um, so I really found that being in Greek life has really enriched and benefited my time here at Grand Valley. I would also say to someone interested in joining a Greek organization, for them to not, um, not to hold themselves back. I think it's really important to understand that this is something that could try to push you out of your comfort zone. And sometimes that push is a part of healthy development. The best advice I could give to someone who's considering going through recruitment is just to be yourself, as cliche as it may sound. Um, don't try to put on a show or anything as much as you may feel like you're selling yourself to the organization or organizations that you're trying to be a part of. They're also looking for great new members, different members, someone to add to the community. And it's really important to look at chapter social medias. Right now is a really active time for chapters on social media. Don't be afraid to DM uh, individual chapters or even the GVSU sorority recruitment account because there are girls who are dying to talk to you and respond to your message. Special thanks to our Greek Life representatives for sharing a bit more about their experiences. 
If you're interested in going Greek, head to gvsu.edu forward slash Greek life and click the how to join tab. There you'll find all the information you need about getting involved and a full list of Greek life social medias. Hi, my name is Blake Yates, and I'm the Vice President of Pi Lambda Phi Fraternity. I'm a second year here at Grand Valley State University, and I'm an education major. I joined Pi Lam for a close connection with my brothers and a lifelong trend of networking. Hi, I'm Zach Bowman. I'm a second year at Grand Valley, and I'm a bio major. I'm the VP of Programming and Risk Management for, for Pi Lam, and I joined because Pi Lam is working towards a better community and for the elimination of prejudice, which is something that's very close to me. Hi, I'm Zane Leslie. I'm a second year here at Grand Valley, and I'm a natural resource management major. I'm also the VP of recruitment at PyLAM. Although I was hesitant about joining a fraternity, I knew I made the right decision of joining PyLAM. Although we only had a 13 class group of brothers, uh, I was able to get to know everyone really well. Hi, my name is Mike Porter. Um, I'm a second year at Grand Valley State University. I'm also a computer science major. I am the president of PyLAM Defy. Um, I get to talk about two of the boring things about this year. Um, thing number one, our dues are going to be probably 325, 320, um, so pretty cheap this year. And number two is this year is the last semester of the founding father uh, title. So if you join, you get to be a founding father of this Pi Lamb, and you get to carry on the future of this fraternity. Um, that's all I got to say. So I hope you have a good recruitment. Hello, I am Kaya Walker. I am the current president of Delta Phi Lambda Sorority Incorporated. We are an Asian interest sorority, but we are not Asian exclusive. We were established on Grand Valley campus on April 11, 2009. Our chapter were chartered in the host to offer a home away from home during a time where many students are leaving home for the first time. Our goal for members is to offer a close-knit environment where sisters are challenged to incorporate their personal interests while benefiting the chapter as a whole. There are currently 23 collegiate chapters and four alumni chapters of Delta Phi Lambda across the United States, and we're still growing. We are a member of the Multicultural Greek Council at Grand Valley, and we're the only sorority on campus under the National APIDA Panhellenic Association. Though we are small, we are strong, dedicated female leaders, and we love each of our sisters. We would love to help you become a dedicated female leader and join our everlasting sisterhood. For more information, you can find us on Instagram at gvsu underscore dfyl or on Facebook at gvsu dfyl. We're also on Laker Link. Anchor up! I think we all come here and we're trying to get involved, you know, the best that we can. We all want to, you know, make friends because it's different. You're at a new place and you're meeting a bunch of like new people for the first time. Something that makes Delta to Delta different from other organizations is that when we have members join, they make a commitment to live lives of excellence. Our values of truth, courage, faith, and power. It's a great way of like reflecting on yourself and deciding on what the type of person that you want to be. That's why I joined Delta. After I met a good 10 guys in the chapter, I just knew that these guys were going to be the ones that are going to help me succeed and, you know, they're always going to push me to higher limits. I can't really think of any better feeling than having just a group of friends that you can always rely on. If you're looking for a community of brothers that want to be there for each other in every way, be committed to lives of excellence that can enhance your college experience, then I would highly recommend Russian Dell. Hi, welcome to Delta Zeta. My name is Abby Stone, I'm the chapter president. And my name is Linnea Eastberg and I'm the vice president of membership. Delta Zeta has been at Grand Valley for 31 years and we're excited for many more years to come. Here at Delta Zeta, we hold many important values like belonging, friendship, citizenship, generosity, empowerment, and curiosity. Sharing all these same values makes our sisterhood even stronger. Our philanthropy is speech and hearing, specifically the Starkey Hearing Foundation. Throughout the year, we put on events and fundraisers to give back. For more information and to keep up to date, follow GVSU Sorority Recruitment and Delta Zeta GVSU on Instagram. We, we look, look forward to meeting you. 
Hey everyone, my name is Mia Guzman, president of the Amar Khan Alpha chapter of Sigma Lambda Gamma National Sorority Incorporated. If you are interested in women's empowerment, cultural awareness, and so much more, feel free to reach out uh, via Instagram and Facebook at GVSU Gammas. Ow! Hi everyone, my name is Montez Lopez and I'm the president of Sigma Lambda Beta National Attorney Incorporated here at GVSU. And we are a historically Latino based fraternity with an established multicultural membership. Our four principles are brotherhood, scholarship, community service, and cultural awareness. And I joined SLB because I saw a group of people that shared similar views and foundations to the ones I held. And my brothers now are people that I know very well personally and professionally. And I cannot think of another organization that I'd rather be a part of. I decided to join the betas because I wanted to be a part of a brotherhood that consists of well-rounded, educated Latino men. Being a minority at a predominantly white institution, it's easy to feel out of place, but this fraternity has taught me to be a part of the conversation and to always remember where I came from. To learn more about how to join our honorable brotherhood, follow at GBSU Betas on Instagram, Grand Valley Betas on Facebook or email us at grandvalleybetas at gmail.com. If you're new here, you're watching Campus Life Night Live. Do you want to try something new this semester? Get involved in student life. If you're not sure where to start, you can set up an online consultation with one of our involvement ambassadors. Involvement ambassadors are Lakers who are involved in student life and ready to answer your questions and address your specific circumstances. They'll work with you personally to find the right student organizations. Or you can meet with an involvement ambassador right now. Find out more at gvsu.edu slash student life. If you're interested in connecting with people from your culture or learning about new ones, then maybe a cultural organization is right for you. Stay tuned to learn more. Next up, we have Marlena Cole from Bringing Together the World. Thank you for joining us today, Marlena. Thank you for having me, Maggie. Absolutely. So can you tell us a little bit about your organization and why you got involved? Yes, definitely. So my organization that I'm a part of is called Bringing Together the World. And our main focus is to kind of facilitate connections and friendships between international students and domestic students. The reason why I got involved was that I was a freshman when I first started. And you know, freshman year is just trying to establish yourself, find your interests, your niche, but also because of the idea of bringing together the world where I was able to meet international students and chat with them just about their life and relate to them. Absolutely. So you talked a little bit about kind of establishing your place, finding, you know, your people here. How was it, I know you, you mentioned that, but how has it really impacted your college experience so far? The friendships that I've gained from that club, um, they're definitely lifelong. If I wanted to pick up a year or so from now and go to another country and meet up with someone there, I easily could. I still have that strong connection where I could, you know, chat and say, hey, let's go grab a cup of coffee or even like, hey, can I stay with you for a few nights? Very cool. Thank you. And I know you kind of talked about after college. So how has it kind of helped you prepare for the rest of your life in post-college? What does that look like? Bringing Together the World has given me the opportunity to kind of understand and work within an organization. It's definitely helped me understand how to delegate, how to work with people from other cultures within that setting, and how important every person is um, within that to actually make this um, organization happen on a day-to-day -day basis. Very cool, thank you. So you mentioned a little bit about what you guys do, but what would you say the purpose of your organization is? We just want to make sure that students, especially international students, have a comfortable and inviting environment that they can go to. Because it is a scary thing to uproot your life and come here for four years or even just a year. And so we want to make sure that they're able to have the utmost experience that they can. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I know we talked a little bit about the virtuality of things, being that we are in a pandemic. How has that impacted your organization? What does it look like now compared to what it did before? In the past, a lot of our events had just focused on being in person because that's how you get that socialization. We have a side event that we host throughout our organization called Global Cafe. That's on every other Friday and you just grab some tea or coffee and you can just chat online about a random topic 
COVID-19 has definitely impacted a lot of students' plans to study abroad. And so we've tried to make sure that bringing together the world can be another way where they can get that international experience or exposure. Absolutely, I, I can really relate to that because my um, opportunity got taken away from me as well and I'm sure the same thing has happened with a lot of people. So it sounds like a great opportunity and a great place to meet new people across the world and here at GV. Is there anything you want to tell everyone about how to get involved or where they can go to get more information on the club? Yes, we are on all social media. Our um, name is just BTW GVSU. And you can also find us on Lakerlink. We'll have our new general meeting times posted. So if you want to join our first one, we're looking to have it at the beginning of February. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, and we'd definitely love to have you try it out. It's a, definitely a good experience. and. I I highly recommend it. Perfect. Thank you so much, Marlena. I really appreciated it. And I'm happy that I got to learn a little bit more about the organization today. Thank you again for having me. Uh, this was great. Hi, everyone. My name is Brittany Terrell, and I am the president of Black Student Union this semester. Black Student Union is an organization that promotes Black students. We have different types of events like celebratory events, academic events, mental health events, financial events, just having events um, that we can come together and support one another on campus. Our membership is not selective, so anybody may be a part of our student body. Anyone can come to our meetings. We meet bi-weekly most of the time. To become a member, you can um, look at our Laker link and send me a message and I will get back to you. We do have dues um, most of the time um, and we can't wait to meet you. Kahi, my name is Jacob Clanky. I am the co-president of the Native American Student Association at Grand Valley State University. And together we are committed to providing a space for all indigenous students on campus. We aim to educate and bring awareness to Native culture and social issues both on and off of campus. NASA is open for anybody who would like to join, including non-Native faculty and staff. If you wish to contact us, we have a Facebook at GVSU NASA, and we are also on Lakerlink as the Native American Student Association. Uh, we hope to see you at our next meeting. What I like best about Grand Valley will have to be the inclusion and the friendliness of everyone, like even the professors are so humble and they're willing to get to know you. Grand Valley has an unlimited amount of resources, it's like the Career Center. They help a lot with internships and that experience is such a bonus in the event planning industry. I am currently involved in You Beautiful Black Woman, and then I'm involved in Black Student Union and Alpha Kappa Psi Co-Ed Business Fraternity. What I like about being involved on campus is being able to meet different people. Um, it's all about networking and who you know. I am most passionate about making other people happy, which is why I did event planning. Like Every event leaves an impact on different people, and seeing that result is what benefits me. I'm Zaria Rita Wesley. I am majoring in hospitality and tourism management. I am a certified tourism ambassador for the city of Grand Rapids, and I am involved on campus in three different organizations, and I am a Laker. Welcome back. I now have the honor of talking to Lauren Rollman, Vice Provost for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Tonight we're talking about how students can get engaged and why they should get involved in student life. So why is it important for students to get involved? Yeah, great question. I, I think um, probably three overarching answers that I might give. First of all, it's a great way to feel that you belong to a community. We all want to be part of communities. We all want to be around friends and acquaintances and, and joining and getting involved is a great way to feel like a part of the community. The second thing I would say is it's also a great way to experience new things, different things, with low commitment in some cases because you get to experience and try out different clubs and organizations and lectures and concerts and that sort of thing. And perhaps the third, maybe most fundamental reason I would say is that what we know from all the research is students who are involved on campus tend to get better grades. Mm. And so it is great for your social life, it's great for your academic life. That's really cool. I didn't know that about the grades. So just one of the many benefits, I guess. 
Yeah, are there any specific benefits you've seen of getting involved in student organizations specifically? Well, they're great opportunities for leadership development. Mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes we join groups because we're interested. We decide we really like what that group is doing and it gives us opportunities to practice uh, what we're learning in the classroom, leadership skills. We can take on roles, we can help uh, on committees and, and uh, you know, there's just lots of ways to learn things about yourself uh, mm -hmm. in student organizations. Also, student organizations add a lot of vibrancy and value to the university community. So I know I benefit as a university citizen by going to things that student organizations do. And I'm, true, I'm sure that's true for students as well. There are uh, musical things and sports things. and Yeah, it just seems like there's such a wide variety of opportunities for people of different interests and availabilities. And so there's just kind of something for everyone. Right. So I know that this semester looks quite a bit different than semesters in the past, at least with the pandemic and pandemic related restrictions. So can you tell us a little bit about what student life and involvement opportunities look like this semester and is it still worth getting involved? I would say uh, by and large, it is still worth getting involved for the reasons that I stated earlier, for the connection to each other. It helps to see each other and to be around other people going through what you're going through, to commiserate, to strategize. Um, it's useful, I think, to continue to hone those skills of communication and leadership development that I talked about being involved gives you. And then the way it looks differently, uh, I, I took a picture uh, just yesterday near Kirkhoff um, of the uh, igloos, you know, the, mm. the bubbles that are out on the lawn. And that's unusual. And actually, I hope we keep them because they're kind of yeah. cool. So there's some benefits to this year, um, the lights and the trees that I hope we continue with too. But it's been very different. It is still worth getting involved. I also wanted to ask you, uh, to think back to your own college experience and if there's anything you wanted to share about your own involvement or any memories you have, anything you'd like to share. Well, it was a long time ago. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, I was uh, quite involved. In fact, I found my way um, to higher education and student affairs because I was involved student. And I met hmm. other students who were leading. I met other faculty and staff who were involved with students outside of the classroom. And I decided that it was the way I wanted to spend my life and my career. So my involvement was really important to my own development as a, as a person, my own skill building, um, and also my career choice. Uh, very cool. Well, you really did a little bit of everything then. I did. Do you have any advice for students who are looking to make the most of their college experience? So I would say the first piece of advice is don't be afraid. Just give it a try. You're not committing to it. You just have to try it. The other thing I would say is, if you don't find what you're looking for, ask. Uh, there are over 400 student organizations at Grand Valley, and if there isn't one that you like, um, we'll help you start it. All right, well, Dean Rollman, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for chatting with us. You bet, thank you for what you're doing. More free prizes are coming your way right now. To win a sticker, all you have to do is sign up for an involvement consultation on the Office of Student Life website by the end of this week. An involvement consultation will allow you to meet with an involved peer who can work with you personally and help you find the student org or involvement opportunity that's right for you. They'll reach out to you to find a time to meet virtually and will always accommodate your schedule. Or you can meet with an ambassador live right now. Sign up for a consultation with an involvement ambassador by the end of this week to win a free sticker. Go to the Student Life website, click on connect with us, then click on meet our involvement ambassadors. Consider doing it now so you don't forget. GV also has all sorts of service and advocacy organizations for students who want to give back and stand up for what they believe in. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, there's still more Campus Life Night Live coming your way. Next, we're going to chat with Kirsten Diven, president of Miracle Network Dance Marathon. Hi, Kirsten. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell me a little bit more about Miracle Network Dance Marathon and what you guys do? Yeah. Um, so Miracle Network Dance Marathon is actually a nationwide movement. Um, we're partnered with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, um, who kind of 
are an organization that houses a bunch of uh, children's hospitals all over the country. And so here at Grand Valley, we specifically partner with Helen DeVos Children's Hospital and um, we do a year long fundraising event to raise money for the kiddos there at Helen DeVos. And um, at the end of the year, we usually have a really big event and uh, that will look a little different this year, unfortunately, but it's um, really just, you know, supporting our local children's hospital. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you know if things will look different this year? How will things be different? Yeah, um, so, you know, usually we uh, host our event in the field house. Um, and we, last year, I believe, capped out around like 350 participants. And right now we do have some hopes that we'll be able to do something outdoors. Um, the event is right now set for April 10th, but um, we also have some online format things that we're gonna start working on, um, you know, just however circumstances change because, you know, no matter what, we're doing this for the kids and uh, we, we're gonna make it happen. So it's still up in the air a little bit, but it'll happen regardless. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing what that looks like. So what initially made you want to get involved in Miracle Network Dance Marathon? I was always kind of curious what it was. Like I've heard, I heard a couple of my friends be like, oh, I'm doing this dance marathon thing. And I really had no idea what it was. And then my roommate from sophomore year, uh, she came home one night and said, you guys should do this with me. And so I signed up to be a participant uh, three years ago now. And then I joined the dream team last year after seeing just the incredible event that they put on my first year participating. And then uh, from there, I decided that I wanted to move up to leadership because it's just really, it's a really feel good organization. It's, you know, you're doing a really good thing and it's so much bigger than myself. And it, it feels great to be involved in any capacity. <laughs> So is there anything more you want to say about the community you've met or the people you've met? Um, anything else you'd like to share? Yeah, I've made a lot of friendships over the past three years being involved. Um, it, it's just a group of incredible people um, at, at the student level. Uh, it's, you know, we're all like-minded and we all have a common goal and it, it's just the love that we put into this shows with everything that they do. It leads to so many things. There are so many opportunities that open up with these people and also being able to meet the kids, you know, cause you just don't think about it. You, you just don't think about how big this can be for someone and it, it makes you kind of reconsider a lot of things. So if there are students out there who are interested in getting involved in Miracle Network Dance Marathon, what do they need to do? We have an email directly, stancemarathongdsu at gmail.com, which is available on Lakerlink. There's there's a few opportunities, just depending on the kind of like commitment level that you have available in the semester. So just reaching out to us and we will happily find a place for anyone. <laughs> yeah, well, something for everyone. Uh, thank you so much for talking with us, Kirsten. Thank you. Hi all, my name is Jamie Cook and I'm with Campus Lions Club. Lions Club is the largest international volunteer organization in the world and we're here at Grand Valley to provide ways for students to serve. Anyone can join Lions Club. We meet once a month to talk about upcoming service projects. As an organization, we take part in many events such as cleaning up the side of highways, cleaning glasses that are going to be donated, and also taking part in many other types of events that we host and attend. Want to get involved? Hit us up in the DMs on Instagram or send a message to our president, Brenna Skinner, at the email or number below. We hope to see you soon. My name is Lily Schaefer, and I'm with the Red Cross Club, so hello and welcome. The American Red Cross Club is a service-based club that works with and supports the American Red Cross that you're probably familiar with. Um, in our club, you can expect to learn more about the Red Cross and their mission and what they do to help people around the world. And then we also focus on volunteering on campus and in the greater Grand Rapids area. Our club is open to everyone, so anyone is able to join. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can find us on Lakerlink and click the contact button and we will get back to you. 
If you're interested in getting involved with the Red Cross Club, then please go check us out on Lakerlink and request to be part of our club. We'll be able to send you emails regarding upcoming meetings and any possible events that we may be putting on throughout the semester. We also invite you to come to our meetings. They are every other Monday at 9 o'clock via Zoom, with our next meeting being on February 8th. Anyone is welcome as long as you have the Zoom link and code, which you'll get through an email through us. So check us out on Lakerlink, please sign up, and we hope to see you all at our next meeting. The faculty has made a huge difference, and I can think of three or four mentors that have hugely influenced my career path. I also really love that there are so many student activities that you can get involved in. I'm involved with uh, uh, GVSU Beekeepers, that's a beekeeping club on campus. I collected pollen and I was basically just doing a nutritional analysis of our hives to see which location was healthier. Just going into the hives for me is a really calming experience. Like you wouldn't expect going into a hive full of 60,000 stinging insects to be very calming. But once you get used to the bee behavior and interacting with them, it's really amazing to be in tune with the bees. So I hope to continue working in bee research in graduate school and be a part of some finding in how we can maintain honeybee health. I'm Emily Nordyke. I'm a biology major. I'm a beekeeper. I'm an artist. I'm a Laker. Keep watching Campus Life Night Live to discover how getting involved in student life can enhance your college experience. Visit LakerLink to read more about each registered student organization and get in contact with eBoard members. Take a moment to reach out to the orgs that interest you. Some student organizations don't fit into any of these categories. Special interest orgs range from coffee club to book club to bachelor nation. Here's more about just a few of those many miscellaneous orgs you could join. Next, we're going to hear from Nick Moran, Vice President of Grand Valley's own eSports Club. Welcome, Nick. Hi there, Maggie. Thanks for having me. So, Nick, tell me about the eSports Club. What does it look like to be involved? Grand Valley Esports is Grand Valley State University's casual and competitive gaming hub. We're a collection of a whole bunch of different games and people uh, that like to play video games. We have opportunities for students to uh, play with each other casually, kind of either on the couch or online, or compete for Grand Valley Esports against D1 through D3 schools and competitions all around the country. Wow, that's so cool. I had no idea our esports team did that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Now, how has being involved impacted your college experience so far? Grand Valley Esports is one of the cornerstones of my college experience. It's been incredible to be involved since my sophomore year. Uh, early on, I got introduced to Grand Valley Esports because I wanted to compete uh, in gaming in a game called Hearthstone, which I did for several semesters. Cool. Uh, but being more a part of this community, the casual side and the networking side and the friendship side of the club really started appealing to me a lot more. And realizing how many students that you wouldn't have met otherwise in a class or in a gen ed, something like that, uh, you could meet online what was phenomenal to me. Right, right. I mean, we literally have hundreds of people who just like playing games and seeing people like me who had those same interests that I could connect with and hang out with online uh, really made my college experience. And especially now during a pandemic uh, where you're kind of stuck inside a lot more, uh, it's been integral to the success I've been having at GB so far. Nice. Do you have a favorite tradition or event that you celebrate with your friends in the club? Yeah, absolutely. It has to be Smash Giving. So Smash Giving is our Thanksgiving tradition uh, where everyone gets together and plays Super Smash Brothers and we cater this massive Thanksgiving meal. Wow, I'm jealous. That's poggers. Yeah, for sure. So Nick, in your opinion, why are special interest clubs like eSports important at Grand Valley? When you put in perspective that, uh, you know, three out of every four Americans plays video games in some capacity, whether it be on their phone, on a console or on their computer, that's a ton of people who are tied to video games. But oftentimes when you just, you know, walk by the street at someone, you don't say, hey, do you want to play video games with me after class or this or that? Like, it's, it's hard to open up to something or about something like that. But Grand Valley Esports is a community of like-minded individuals, people who all have the same interest in playing games. Uh, and the second you step into our Discord server or join our club or come to one of our events, you are automatically welcome as someone with a shared love for gaming. Yeah, I think that's something that we all want to hear, that there's a community out there for us. And it's refreshing to hear just how welcoming the Esports Club is. And for the people out there who are still looking to find their community, do you have any advice on what they can do to join the eSports club? The first thing I'll say is if you're any student looking to join any special interest club or organization on campus, 
just do it. It will be the best part of your college experience, uh, you know, meeting people and connecting with folks who have the same interests as you. Uh, it will hands down open so many more doors for you than it will close. Uh, and if you want to join Grand Valley Esports, I'll, I'll be the first to welcome you. Thank you for your interest. Come to gvesports.org, hop into our Discord server, which is kind of our online chat room. It's kind of where our family's hosted uh, and find some people to play some games with, which is especially important when we're all cooped up inside with the pandemic. So true. Thank you so much, Nick, for talking with us today and letting us get to know you and the Esports Club a little bit better. My pleasure. Thanks, Maggie. If you guys want to join the Esports Club, you can check out their Discord server in order to meet new friends and play a little PvP. Hello everyone, we are the Residence Housing Association. You may remember us from events in the fall, such as Twilight Crafting, Tie-Dye, Haunted Arboretum, and a series of online events. RHA is the City Council for On-Campus Housing. RHA serves as the liaison between residents, housing, and university leadership. If you have a question, complaint, or recommendation, don't hesitate to contact us. This semester, we're focusing on leadership development, student advocacy, and issue-based focus groups. RHA also offers the opportunity to members to represent GVSU at leadership conferences at a regional and national level, and the cost for the conferences is fully covered by RHA. And RHH is a subset of RHA and focuses on service, leadership, and recognition. And RHH is also composed of only 1% of on-campus leaders. If you're interested in joining RHA, we meet every Monday at 9.30. Contact us for the Zoom link and, focus, and follow our Instagram for updates on our events and upcoming initiatives. Hey, I'm Ashley Latham, you beautiful Black Women's President, and we're gonna show you in 90 seconds why you need to join this organization. My name is Divine Parker. Morgan Johnson. Maya. It's Amber Anderson. I'm Nia, the Historian. I'm Demaya. I'm Marnie Lee. And I'm the Fundraising Chair. Taylor Whitehead. Taylor, and I'm the Treasurer. In one word, YBBW is empowering sisterhood. Magnificent. YBBW is lit, obviously. So why join? It was a chance to connect and network and support. To have a sense of community on campus. It allows for a space to have relatable conversations. I love the way they treated each other and I love the events they held. Meet Black women on campus who have similar goals and aspirations. Help can we uplift it during hard times? Because I wanted to create a bond with some amazing women. You'll gain multiple friendships and gain a great sisterhood. You to fellowship with other Black women on this campus and to feel included. Sum that all up. YBBW is a sisterhood that creates a welcoming environment for women of all races. We meet once a week and do a mixture of bonding and character slash professional development activities. We also host some of Grand Valley's biggest multicultural events like Hair Show and Beautiful Week in Color. YBBW offers a group of wonderful women to lean on as we navigate life at a PWI and its challenges. Join this org. Bye. Hello and welcome to Otaku no Anime, the premier anime club here at GVSU. We primarily focus on Eastern animation shows from Japan, and we like to enjoy discussing the shows and culture around them, and overall hang out with other people that enjoy the medium. If any of that sounds interesting, feel free to join our club. We've gone digital over at Discord with meetings every Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. There's no dues or any required involvement other than joining at the link above to our Discord, where we hold our meetings, send out announcements, and hang out and chat. Just read the server rules once you join, assign your roles to make sure you get our announcements, and feel free to message the eboard on there if you have any questions or concerns. Our first meeting of the semester is when we vote for shows to watch together as a club. We usually pick about three or four shows for the semester, and if there's any show you really like or interested in watching with companions, Feel free to stop on by and vote your choices in. Any of the visuals in the background caught your interest, those are the shows you watched last semester. Feel free to hop on by and say hello. This is an attack in anime. Thanks for listening. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. The pronouns I use are she, her, and hers, and I am president of GVSU's Campus Activities Board, also known as CAB. Welcome to Campus Life Night Live. I'm really excited to be here and letting you know a little bit more about who we are and what we do at CAB. Um, CAB is a student organization that plans a bunch of different events for students by students. Um, we plan a variety of different fun things from paint and sips with friends to Friday night uh, movies, Saturday night trivia series and a bunch of different things in between. Um, we do a lot of different partnerships with different departments on the university's campus and we just are a group of people that like to impact our community in a positive way um, and bring fun to the students of GVSU. 
Um, joining CAB has brought me some of the best friendships that I have ever had, and it has truly made Grand Valley feel like home to me. Um, I have made so many connections in different offices with different people that have truly, that will truly last me a lifetime. Um, and yeah, check us out on social media at GVSU CAB um, and DM, DM us for info on how you can earn some free merch. Thanks for stopping by. I would love to work with uh, renewable energy. And so one of my goals is to somehow incorporate learning about that, doing that in my career. I took a Bio 105 class my freshman year and I was just blown away with all the environmental things I didn't know. With Farm Club, I had the opportunity to work outside at the Sustainable Agriculture Project on a plot, which is something I'd never uh, had a chance to do before. I really hadn't tried my hand at gardening. Working with the SAP and with Farm Club has really what's made me want to stay at Grand Valley um, and really fostered my passion for sustainability. Being a Laker is being a service leader. It's being engaged in your community. It's about volunteering. It's about stepping outside of yourself to maybe look at a different perspective that you hadn't considered. And Grand Valley has challenged me to do all of that. My name is Katherine Johnson. I am a management information systems major, and I am a minority, I am an activist, and I am a Laker. Giveaway time. We're giving away 10 free candy-filled OSL water bottles. For a chance to win, post on Instagram or Twitter by 9 p.m. tonight using hashtag GVCLN and tagging at GVSU Student Life. You can post multiple times to increase your chances of winning. Tag a student org that you're already a part of or one you'd maybe like to be a part of. Again, before 9 p.m. tonight, post on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag GVCLN. Tag GVSU Student Life and tell us about a student org that interests you for a chance to win an OSL water bottle filled with candy. To learn more about all the sports opportunities for athletes here at GV, I'm going to talk to Bree Slager, sports coordinator. Hi Bree, thanks for coming. Hi. So can you tell us a little bit about your role and what it is you do? Yeah, so as a sports programs coordinator, I work with our club sport athletes, uh, club sport coaches, and then our intramural participants. And then we also have student staff that oversee a lot of our events and practices that we have going on. Um, in a typical day, I do everything from logo requests and designs, website maintenance, um, to helping clubs budget, purchase items, travel plans, um, anything they could need, I try to help them as much as possible. So what opportunities are there available to athletes here at GV? Yeah, so intramural sports are free for this semester right now um, for all students, but they're open to all students all year round. Um, and we do a variety of sports from soccer and basketball to different things like spike ball and cornhole. So it's really open to any student to come play, uh, try a different sport. And then we have 50 plus club sports available. Um, and those range from your typical uh, baseball and hockey to your not so typical Quidditch, uh, mm. Degarier and synchronized skating. What's the main difference between club sports and intramural sports? So club sports are competing against other universities. Mm. Uh, they're competing for national championships. They're traveling. Uh, they're doing things like fundraising um, and trying to get those transferable skills versus intramural mm -hmm. sports is just GV students playing with GV students, faculty and staff, just trying new sports and just having a good time to win a t-shirt. What do you think the benefit is of being involved in club sports or sports programming? Uh, for club sports, it's definitely those transferable skills that I mentioned earlier. So you learn how to budget, you learn how to talk mm -hmm. to your peers, uh, and you can take those into your future career path and really use those to your advantage. I was a club sport athlete in undergrad, and I use those skills every day, um, mm -hmm. even not in the higher education, but outside as well. Um, different things like talking to individuals, giving presentations, um, recruiting. I mean, they are jack of all trades within mm -hmm. everything that they do. What sports did you play? I was an equestrian athlete, so oh. I rode horses. What did you learn from that experience or gain from that experience? I definitely learned uh, to be flexible, go mm -hmm. with the flow. Uh, collegiate equestrian is a little bit different where you draw a horse out of a bucket and you get on it, it's not your own. So you kind of mm. just go with the flow and have to figure it out and be the best that you can. Very cool. Are all of these opportunities tryout based? How do you get involved in these? Yeah, so the best way to get involved is to go to www.gbsuclubsports.com. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. there's a recruit me form on there that you can fill out and that goes to all the coaches and captains of the teams to let you know what's going on most teams are tryout based but that's more because of their league requirements for their rosters mm -hmm. so a lot of times they'll have a competitive roster and then a roster of students that maybe can't travel because they're in the nursing program and they can't mm -hmm. be in extended stays or for students that maybe financially can't handle the burden of trying to pay for a competitive season, but they can still participate in practice teams um, or be involved in a volunteer basis. All right, well, is there anything else you'd like to add about sports or any advice for those who are looking to get involved? Definitely ask to get involved and talk with coaches, talk with participants. Um, club sports are really open and we have a ton of sports that individuals have never played before or tried and they try at Grand Valley and they go to have either professional careers. We've had a rower go on to the Olympics that never rowed wow. before. Wow. Um, so it's definitely an opportunity to try something that you've never tried before. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, Bree. Thanks for talking with us. Yeah, thank you guys. If you have questions about involvement opportunities at GV, check out the Office of Student Life website, visit Lakerlink, or watch some informative videos on our involvement Flipgrid. Next, we're going to talk with Jillian Noonan, Station Manager of Grand Valley Television. Welcome, Jillian. Hello, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So, can you tell us a little bit more about GBTV and what you do? Yeah, so GBTV is the only student-run television station on campus. So basically, all of our shows um, consist of their own group of people, their own crews, and those crews make their show from pre-production to post-production. So they write it, they film it, they produce it, they edit it, um, and then it is then aired on our YouTube channel or on the cable station that runs through the closed circuit on GV's campus. Yeah, very cool. So there's opportunities for everyone if you want to be on camera or off camera. Oh, for sure. There are tons of roles um, and it doesn't matter people's experience either. So they can be a film and video major looking to do something. They can be any major just coming in and wanting to script write, wanting to direct, wanting to learn how to edit. Um, so there's really, we have lots of students with lots of different majors. Um, we This year we have a German major who is head of our uh, international Laker news show. So it's really just if you come in and you put in the effort and you have fun, you can work your way to do anything within GBTV. So when you do graduate, is there one thing that you're going to miss the most? Yes, I'm definitely going to miss the community and the friendships within GBTV. I'm currently in the studio, um, which is in the basement of Kirkhoff Center. And pre-COVID, uh, we used to hang out in here all day, like 10 a.m. to midnight, five, six, seven days a week. There were just groups of people coming in and out. You'd catch lunch in between classes. You'd work on your homework. You would edit your GBTV show at our computers that are in the studio. Um, you could film in our filming room. And so there was just such a fun community of watching movies and playing video games and just getting to be with other members of GBTV. Why do you think that media student organizations are an important part of student life at Grand Valley? So media organizations on campus include us, GBTV, and then the Lanthorn, um, which is our newspaper, and the Whale Radio, and then as students to get to make content uh, for our peers and that we love and we get to see them enjoy um, and we can inform them on things and we can entertain them. It's just a super cool aspect that I think whether you're doing it or you're watching it, you can enjoy media organizations just right here at GV. So if students are interested in getting involved in GVTV, what steps do they need to take? If you're interested in GVTV, first step is to hit up our website, which is grandvalleytv.org. And then from there, you can find our social media to see what we're doing um, more presently and live as we post pictures and things like that. And then if anyone uh, wants to reach out to me directly and we can talk about where you might fit in within GBTV and what you want to do, they can email me at grandvalleytv.station at gmail.com and I am happy to answer all of their questions. And our first meeting is Monday, February 1st at 9 p.m. via that Zoom link that's found on our website. So anyone is welcome to join and just listen to what we have to say. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jillian. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Joining us now is Bailey Green, president of Phi Sigma Pi. Hello, Bailey. How are you? 
Good, how are you, Trey? I'm so good, thank you so much for asking. Wow, it is so good to have you with us today. Um, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Who, who is Bailey Green and, and what are you here representing today? I am here representing Phi Sigma Pi. So we are an honor fraternity. We are co-ed and we are all, we have three tripods. So we're focused on fellowship, which is like bonds between fraternal members. Right. Scholarship, because we believe learning goes beyond the classroom. So we're always trying to learn as much as we can. And then leadership. So we have a lot of leadership roles and we really try to inspire our members to lead and not just for like, not just Phi Sigma Pi, but in their everyday lives. Right, awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. And how are, how is your organization and your fraternity, your Honor Society fraternity different than other fraternities or other um, of the in involvements in Greek and fraternity life here at GV? Yeah, definitely. So we're a little bit different than social Greek life. We are focused more on the academic aspect, but we do still do service like yeah. most social um, Greeks do. We do um, you know, a lot of service on Grand Valley as well as the surrounding Aladino campus. Awesome, yeah, for sure. And why do you think it's important besides, you know, obviously there's, so obviously there's tons of great ways to get involved. There's tons of benefits of getting involved. Why is it really important to be involved in an honor fraternity? So, I mean, it's just like social Greek life. I think it's just an opportunity for kids who are, who are more looking for some, for students who also are really like involved in academics yeah. rather than the social Greek life, which focuses more on the social aspect and socializing with everyone and doing their service. We're more focused on the academics and service of it. We do still have fun though. You know, we still do winter retreat, fall retreat, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And tell me, so let's say I'm a new student. I'm attempting to find something to get involved with, and I, I find your honor fraternity and I say, okay, this is where I wanna be. What is something, you know, as a new, um, a new member of your honor fraternity, what is something you would have me do as a new member? What is something I can get involved in right off the back and, you know, really dive into? Yeah, so definitely. So we do do an initiate semester, which is where you learn about, you know, all of the history and all of the background of Phi Sigma Pi. But something that you can get involved in right away is we have our new members plan events, just like what we would do in an actual fraternity. So that's something that you right. can get involved in right away. Talking to the new, talking to the old members, you know, just creating those bonds right away is something that initiates are able Absolutely. to do that. And I bet in a time where, you know, we've been faced with a pandemic and whatnot, you know, obviously social challenges have become a huge part of our lives. So I'm sure you guys have tons of connections and tons of new friends that you guys get to meet while you're in the organization, I'm assuming. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's really nice on, you know, a Sunday night after a really long week to, you know, log into our meetings and just be able to have that little bit of normalcy again. Absolutely. And then tell me, how can we join Phi Sigma Pi? How do we do that? And what does that process look like? We have two requirements, and one is that you hold the 3.0 GPA. That is where we are a little bit different than normal Greek life because we are okay. academic in honor. And Absolutely. then you just have to have uh, one semester of college under your belt. Other than that, we have, you can go to phisigmapi.org and you can find us that way. Or you can always reach out to me or anyone. We are on the student org website, the Laker link. So you can Absolutely. find us that way. Well, too. awesome. Thank you. So I definitely say this sounds like a great organization to join. It sounds like you have tons of you know, events and opportunities planned out for the students involved. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. And we really appreciate you being with us. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Autumn Espinoza, and I'm the president of Sigma Alpha Lambda, or SAL, honors organization here on campus at Grand Valley. And we are a national leadership organization, an honors organization dedicated to developing um, ourselves and also serving our community and campus through a variety of volunteer initiatives every year. Um, in order to be eligible for membership, student must be at least a sophomore level here at Grand Valley and also maintain a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher. Every fall, invites are sent out to all TVSU students via the mail automatically. Um, and there is a one-time fee of $85 that a student must pay. And that um, paying that fee gives you lifelong membership allows you to hold officer positions and log service hours, as well as be eligible for scholarships, which is an awesome benefit of getting involved with SAL. We're having our first kickoff meeting this coming Monday, February 1st at 5 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. And that link for that meeting is posted in Lakerlink on our Lakerlink page. 
and we'd love to have you join us um, and learn a bit more about us. Thanks for tuning in and go Lakers. Phi Chi Theta is one of the nation's premier business and economics fraternities. We strive to provide academically inclined programming, professional and personal development, lifelong connections, and future career opportunities for its members. Our organization meets every Sunday at 7 p.m. Hi, my name is Courtney Clifford. Phi Chi Theta has been a huge part of my college experience, not only because it has taught me so much about being a young professional, but I've created so many friendships and memories from being involved in PCT, from things like our annual professional development trip to intriguing guest speakers and all of our other social events that take place throughout the year. Those eligible to join PCT are graduate and undergraduate students with a 2.5 GPA or higher, as well as a business and or economics major and or minor. The best person to contact for more information regarding Phi Chi Theta is our Vice President of Membership, Stephen Ray, and our Membership Chair, Ryan Crutchfield. Now, the next step to becoming a member of Phi Chi Theta is to join us for our Rush Week events that will start on Monday, February 1st. Do not forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or reach out to Stephen Ray to find out more about our Rush Week events. Rush into 2021 with PCT! Woo! I like that there's always something to do, whether it's a football game or whether it's a dance. There's a lot of cultural events that my career on campus. So I like the sense of community. Um, they have a lot of living and learning centers that um, individuals can benefit from. So just basically the connections that you can build with other students on campus. I am passionate about civil rights. So I'm involved in Student Senate. Well, I'm on the Diversity Affairs Committee, so we just do basically do everything that involves bringing students together and making sure that this is a safe climate and students are feeling welcome here on campus and um, to bring more diverse perspectives and backgrounds to campus. I think being a Laker means you are dedicated on um, representing your campus and building community from within and also having fun. My name is Darwin Harris. I'm a history major. I am a leader, I'm professional, and I'm a Laker. Final giveaway alert! It's time for our last giveaway of the evening. For a chance to win a cool color-changing GV cup, email studentlife at gvsu.edu and tell us what GVSU event you're most excited for this semester. If you're not sure which one, check out the events calendar on the Office of Student Life website. The first 50 people to email studentlife at gvsu.edu and tell us about a student life event you're looking forward to will win a free color-changing GVSU cup. Life before Lakerlink was lonely, empty, unforgiving, nowhere to go, nothing to do. I had no one. It felt, it felt like I was the only person on campus. But then I found Lakerlink and everything changed. Before Lakerlink, I didn't know about all the opportunities out there. I would have never found my student org and I've never been happier. Thanks to Lakerlink, finding your perfect student organization has never been easier. There's so much out there to discover and it's all just one click away. Find your perfect match on Lakerlink. Joining a student org can also help you boost your resume and land a job after graduating. Stay tuned to learn how GV is there to help you with your future career. We're now going to chat with Megan Rickson from the Career Center to learn more. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Leah. Hi. So, how do you think joining a student organization can help students prepare for their future? I think it's a really critical piece of career preparation because it's an amazing way to get involved on campus, be a part of community, um, and be able to work alongside others, right? And those are all things that are absolutely going to be really important pieces of joining the world of work someday. So it's kind of a practice run for what some of that um, might be along the way. Um, and you know what we hear from our employer partners over and over is that that, in, that involvement on campus is so, is so critical. Yeah, I think a lot of people assume that those fun organizations that aren't necessarily associated with your major 
aren't important or aren't as important as those academic organizations, but I actually think there's a lot of ways that you can prepare for your future through those experiences as well, and employers are still going to be impressed to see you involved in a variety of things. For sure, absolutely, and you know, especially if it's something that you're excited about being involved mm -hmm. in, you're gonna likely get more involved. So you're going to help to plan an event. You're going to want to be a part of the e-board. You're going to want to attend all the meetings, which means that you're gonna have a lot more stories to tell about mm -hmm. your involvement. And like anything, like if you're passionate about it, that's gonna come through, yeah. right? When you're sharing that information on a resume, when you're talking to an employer in a networking situation, um, your face will light up because it's something you're excited about, but you still are gonna have those really great skills and experiences along the way. Yeah. Are there any other specific skills you think students can gain from getting involved? Definitely. So I've mentioned leadership. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's huge. Um, teamwork, I also mentioned, you know, that is just such a critical skill these days. And especially, I think about this year specifically, where so many student orgs are meeting virtually, you already have a skill set to be bringing to the table that you could work remotely, potentially. Mm -hmm. um, collaboration, um, I think event planning is a huge element, um, a huge skill you'll learn through student orgs budget management, just various administrative skills. So yeah, I think I could go on and on, but there's there's a bunch. Yeah. If students have more career-related questions or questions about how they can further boost their resume, what resources are available to them? Great. So um, of course, you can hop on our website, gvsu.edu slash careers, which is going to give you kind of the, the huge overall picture of everything that we can provide, but a couple of just easy things that you can do next week um, would be join our virtual career lab. This is done through Blackboard Collaborate, which you're probably already familiar with through um, your online courses. Um, and it is like no commitment. You hop in there, you can be in a sweatshirt, you can have your camera on or off, totally up to you. Um, and you can ask career questions. You can share your screen and show us your resume and we can give you some feedback on that. I had someone who came in recently um, who wanted to work on a personal statement for graduate school. So really any question that is in any way career related, we can tackle in that virtual career lab. Um, and also Handshake is another great mm -hmm. tool. Get on there. That's how you can make an appointment with your career advisor. Every single student at Grand Valley has a career advisor. That's mm -hmm. not something that everyone knows. <laughs> so you can make appointments in there, but that's also a great tool. You're going to see our events. You're going to see job postings, internship postings. You can look up employers. There's a ton of stuff going on in there as well. So those are a couple of really great ways to get connected to our office and our resources. All right. Well, is there anything else you would like to add about the Career Center or about involvement opportunities? Get out there, get involved, and come and see us because we, we love meeting with students. We love talking to you about your career journey, and that can be from your very first moment on campus all the way through graduation. So, And we even serve alumni as well. So keep us in mind the, the whole time, and we'd, we'd love to chat with you. All right. Well, Megan, thank you so much for your time. You are so welcome. Thank you. As we wrap up our evening together, remember to visit our involvement Flipgrid. You can access helpful videos created by student org leaders and learn how to get involved. If you have any questions about joining a certain org, visit Lakerlink to get in contact with eBoard members. It's also the perfect place to read more about all the registered student orgs here at GV. You can also visit the Office of Student Life website to learn more about upcoming events or to set up a consultation with an Involvement Ambassador or meet with one right now. Involvement Ambassadors meet with students one-on-one -on -one to help them find the right student org. It's perfect if you're not sure where to start or have more questions about involvement. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm Tim. My name's Bella. And I'm Leah, and we're from Grand Valley's improv comedy team, Subject to Change, and these are the top 10 reasons not to get involved in student life. Number 10, you hate having friends. Number 9, you're already perfect at everything and don't need to strengthen your skills or try anything new. Number 8, you're a joyless void of nothingness. 
Number seven. You don't even go here. Number six. You're allergic to student organizations. Number five. You're a salamander, and salamanders can't join student orgs. Number four. You hate discovering new passions. Number three. You're in a 16-year slumber like Sleeping Beauty, and you can't join a student organization until you're awakened by True Love's kiss. Number two. You're a vacuum cleaner. And the number one reason to not get involved in student life is you just hate having fun. If you relate to anything on this list, definitely do not go to gvsu.edu slash student life to learn more. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hopefully you've learned a lot about the many involvement opportunities offered at Grand Valley, and maybe you even want a free prize. As the new semester starts, push yourself to try something new. Make new friends, develop new skills, and go out of your comfort zone. Get involved and have a great semester, Lakers.